I collected this is ascended twin 144k I'm here to do a general energy collective read for my divine feminines family y'all know time is fluid so this could be past present or future energies the energies can be reversed the roles can be reversed this could be you or your person you versus them same sex relationships as well as divine counterparts Anytime you were guided to my channels, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive a message. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate, come back at a later date. Y'all know I'm a future forward predictor, so I can be ahead of schedule of what's going on in your life. Also, if it still doesn't resonate for you, but you know someone else that it does, send them here, family, so they can receive the messages. And if it still doesn't resonate, then I guess I'm not your reader. But thank you to each and every last one of you who have subscribed to the channel, who have booked readings with me, who have donated to the channel. Thank you so much, family, for sharing your journeys with me and allowing me to share mine with you. Whether your donations were financial or just your energetic love and support, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> And to any new subscribers, welcome to the Tribe family. Thank you for joining. A lot of my uh, material is being shadow banned. My whole channel is being shadow banned, guys. So they're not allowing my channel to grow because they don't want the truth to get out. Because I am going to speak the truth. I am going to tell y'all the truth. Even when you don't want to hear it, I'm still going to give you the truth. These are some names for some of y'all that I'm going to use later on this um, during this reading. But I'm going to slide these cards out to the side for right now. I want to see where y'all's energy is at at this present time. I haven't done a Divine Feminine reading in God knows how long. I've just been doing collective readings for the whole collective. So let's see. We're going to use um, the Akashic Records as well as the goddess rising tarot so i see miracles occurring for someone someone that needs to take the mask off divine feminine some of y'all are still wearing masks there's something you still need to work on these masks are going to help you to reveal some secrets that have been hidden from you your ancestors are going to assist you with this and it's time for some of you to cut the etheric cords because all of these divine counterparts that you think are your divine counterparts, they're karmic masculines and feminines. Holy Spirit, give me the greatest message that the divine collective, the divine feminine collective needs at this present time. What is the best message that is needed at this present time for my divine feminines? Level up. Some of you could be 39 years old. Your divine counterpart could be 39 years old. It's time for you to listen to your intuition and see the truth of who you truly are, who you're truly meant to be. Yeah, fearless love is here. Some of you could worship the goddess Oshun, or you could be connecting to the goddess Oshun. Or you may need to connect to the goddess Oshun. So let's take a look-see and see what Level Up is about. Queen Yah Asintewa. The goddess of leveling up is Ashanti Ghana. Temple is queens. The element is bush. So this is definitely grounding for you to level up. Queen Yah was a ruthless. Well, I'm sorry. Somebody here might be a little ruthless. But some uh, Queen Yah was a mother, a farmer. And a warrior queen who led the war of the golden stool. The golden stool throne. And here it is. Very beautiful. The throne of the Ashanti Empire holds the regent Kra life force energy. Queen Ya, raise your standards. A leap forward. For one is a leap forward for the tribe. Your choices can raise the frequency of your community and the planet. It's time to level up, guys. Embodiment. 
This is your season for a quantum leap. You have prepped for, or you have prepared for this. Life does not have to be linear. Neither does growth. A quantum leap feels drastic and huge. But the secret is that quantum leaps happen little by little. So what inspired actions helps you to level up? Connecting to spirit with rituals, movement, meditation, and visualization is a great start. Your goddess declaration, male or female, is divine timing is on my side. Your goddess declaration is divine timing is on my side. Some of you may be Sagittarians. I'm going to sit this right here. Now, let's take a look and see what's going on in the Akashic Records. Give me some energy, Holy Spirit, from the Akashic Records for my divine feminines. Holy Spirit, give me some divine messages from the Akashic Records for my divine feminines. Some of you are master artisans, but you're unsure, your creators, of what path you need to pick. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine feminines? You're still in a battle with your divine counterpart. And it's not working in your favor at this present time. So the best thing for you to do is to walk away from it. God is stepping in. There's a tower moment. Aries Scorpio energy here. Messages from the Akashic Records from my Divine Feminines. On the lookout. Hmm. I don't want to take too many here. And we have Archangel Michael. Some of y'all need to open your heart. You have more than two spaces. You have your heart chakra. And then there is another chakra right above your heart that needs to be activated as well. Collective. The King of Scrolls. So this could be about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The King of Scrolls is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for me in this deck. So let's see what 17 brings the lookout. Something is going up in flames. Something didn't work out as planned. Okay, 87. So let's take a look. Here we are. Let's see. No, wait a minute. 96. I'm sorry. Here we go. The lookout. This card tells you to be on the lookout. There is a challenging situation, perhaps even a battle of sorts. And that's what we saw with the War of the Roses. There perhaps even a battle of sorts around you. You could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position, but um, if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through this difficult time a little more easily. The, this phase may be temporary, but it's important to keep your balance. Your strength will carry you through to a better time to come. Okay. So they want you to be on the lookout. There's something that's coming, and this could be regarding your finances. Some of you may even have a 17-year-old child. Some of you could have been married for 17 years. You could be at your job for 17 years. But there is something here that could be regarding your finances. And I see 8-8. Eight, eight. I see 8s in my face, period, collective. 17 becomes 8. 8. Eight. So we got three eights. So this is definitely pertaining to your finances. Spirit wants you to look deeper. Be on the lookout. Let's go to the next one, the eight of roses. Some of y'all could be seeing 888 or 88. Okay, so the roses. This could be regarding around love. Water sign energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So.
So let's see. Let's get into it. The Eight of Roses. Okay. Sangha or community. This card indicates that it's a time to join or rejoin your group, your um, ashram, your tribe, or your sangha. Whatever you call it, it is a community that connects you with others of like-minded purpose and activity. So some of you have been isolated. You've been isolated too long. There are many common uh, communities in each person's life and still more that return from past, past lives. For instance, you have your family, friends, and work associates, but you also have the people with whom you share many creative, cultural, or spiritual purposes. New friends can also be coming your way at this time. Be open to these new connections. You will not only find help with current directives, but you may also reawaken past life relationships, talents, and disciplines. It is a time for happy sharing of your discoveries. So spirit wants you to reconnect. You might be spending too much time in isolation, guys. It's time for you to reconnect to some people. There are some people that you can't reconnect to, but spirit could be bringing in some of your soul tribe to reconnect with. And these could be people from your past life to reconnect, to help you level up. Let's take a look at the King of Scrolls. Okay. So for the King of Scrolls, this man may be present in your life already. If not, you'll be meeting him soon. He may be an author, a teacher, or a communicator who will assist you in some prof uh, professional way. He could also be a friend who brings wisdom through his own studies and spiritual practices. Be open to the guidance this man offers, for it could help you lead your life in exciting new directions. As with any king or queen, the king of scrolls may also be a new love interest for you or another, depending upon his location in the spread. He came out last. So he could be coming into you to help you level up in life. Some of you, this person may be, may be giving you a financial leg, <clears throat> leg up, okay? I'm going to see about who he is real quick, but um, let's go more. His wisdom is compelling and there are likely to be many interesting and lively discussions. This card also represents you or someone you know who is longing for deeper understanding and a greater clarity of thought. Now is a great time to pursue new interests, perhaps even enroll in some classes or attend a lecture or two. A position in teaching, counseling, advertising, writing, publishing, or like maybe on the agenda now. A treasure trove of discovery is waiting for you. So let your mind and your life soar. So they want y'all to stop holding yourselves back and come forward. And at the bottom of this deck, there does say friendship, y'all. So this person could definitely start out as a friend in your life. Or this could be your divine counterpart where there's an incoming message of concern. Holy Spirit, show me the energy of this King of Scrolls. Show me the energy of this King of Scrolls. 
Some of you have had a failure in friendship, but this person is going to help you here with some growth. Divine timing is here, so this person is going to help you. They're going to have patience in doing so. This person is going to push you. They're going to help you persevere. They're going to help you find the courage to move forward. A lot of you, you've had failure and happiness. This person may be here to assist you with this. They may have suffered the same things. They're going to take you out of this energy of regret. Ooh, that's beautiful. You're, this has been a challenge for you to get out of the energy of regret and acceptance. Accept that everything happens for a reason. Rejection is also divine protection. Y'all know that by now. What else is here, Holy Spirit? I heard for some of you it's a neighbor. This person could also be going through a divorce. Yeah, there's a divorce to an ending of a marriage with this person. Show me the energy of this King of Scrolls. This person is on the spiritual journey or they're about to get on this journey. This person could be taking a trip. They could be taking a trip about something that is a message of concern. Could be pertaining to something that they've been working on. There could be a pregnancy here or something that they've been waiting on with a main female to, a, to make a change. There could be a child as well. So this person could be, this could be, for some of you, this could be your divine counterpart. Somebody here, you can receive a message from this person that they're going to jail. And this is in the distant horizon. This person's integrity is being questioned by spirit. So for some of you, this person is here to help you. For others of you, this is your divine counterpart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. So let's see what's going on here for my divine fans. A lot of you have been burdened. You have been stressed out. There's a lot of hidden emotions about someone that told you a lot of lies. Okay. Holy Spirit, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody that you invested heavily in, or you could be a Sagittarius and you're burdened by something where you were heavily invested Possibly, maybe in your work or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Messages, ooh, messages from my divine femmes, Holy Spirit. Your hidden emotions about a soulmate. A soulmate that left you stuck and trapped in your emotions. Someone here that is stuck and trapped with another relationship. Spirit says that's the truth. This person created illusions of giving you something solid, something that you could invest in. But this person was greedy, gluttonous. This person was also jealous and envious of some of you. And they used black magic upon you. Ooh, we. And see how the split at first it looks like. Yeah, this person was using some type of magic, black magic. But there was a rejection here. And you walked away from someone here that could also be hiding that they have a mother and a child. Could be any sign. What else is here, Holy Spirit? This King of Pentacles is unfaithful, unloyal, and they're getting a divorce. This person could also be broke and they could be lying. They could be lying about a lot. They're lying about what else is here. They're lying about their fears and insecurities. They could also be lying about going to jail. They could also be lying about a family that they're still holding on to, a Ten of Cups relationship. What else is here? So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody here wants to communicate with you, somebody that ended it with you, where you had to heal from all the pain and the trauma from a third party situation. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All signs are here. 
What's behind the Three of Swords? A family. A family and a, with a karmic soulmate that they gave their love to. Ace of, Pen Ace of Cups. They gave their Ace of Cups and their Ace of Pentacles to this person. This person is nothing but a liar, a deceiver, and a Decepticon. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person may have rushed or been too reckless in a situation and they created burdens. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here is stressed out, overwhelmed. They need to scale back and take a breather. Somebody here may have rushed into a situation too soon and ended up with a pregnancy. And this is why some of them ghosted you so they can heal it and fix it with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone that is enlightened too. But it doesn't mean that they use it for the right reasons. What's also here for my uh, divine feminines? Yes, yeah, somebody here was jealous of you. Jealous of what they thought that you had. This person blocked you too. But they're receiving a tower moment. And there's a major significant change. There's an upheaval here. Somebody here is not leaving a situation that's breaking their heart. And it's a past life soulmate. Someone that they've known since kids. Someone here where there's a lot of arguing and conflict and burdens. So, let's see what they got hiding that they got going on. Because they want to show up in your energy so very strongly collective. So, this tells me that there is still energy that needs to be cleared out and this cycle has to be closed before new love comes in otherwise the new love will be exactly like the old love because I told y'all I've done a couple of readings and every time I try to pull new love for y'all all I get is it ain't right it ain't gonna be right and we want it to be right tell me about your soulmate tell me about my divine feminine soulmate holy spirit Somebody here has been using dark magic on the two of you. Someone that has sex addiction. Not only does your divine counterpart have sex addiction, but there could be a side dude here that is a gold digger that is spying on you. That's one. Tell me about the king of coins in the reverse for my divine feminines. Your divine masculine was unfaithful for some of you with a co-worker and it's a stripper. Somebody here, they work at a regular job in the daytime and then at night they strip. Somebody here, there's a boss, an Aries Taurus that they could be having bad sex with. That's what they could have been using the dark magic to cover up the bad sex to keep your divine counterpart stuck. Tell me about this uh, page of wands. So there's some type of good news that's coming in about someone's hidden emotions that's caught up in an entanglement. This person wants to communicate to you and they are a soulmate. You could be a fire sign or they could have took a fire sign that was a soulmate and put them on a pedestal above you. They could have taken this person on a trip. Tell me about the four of swords. What is he or... There was an ending here, so there could have been a miscarriage or there could have been an ending to a relationship because of a pregnancy in a marriage. So there was an outside pregnancy here with a stripper that your person worked with. For some of you, this is not going to be for all of you. And this is what caused the ending of the relationship. Some of this could even be you guys. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. This sort, this Knight of Swords is reckless. They have a sex addiction and they like nasty sex. They like it real nasty. Not na so nasty that you won't even be able to deal with it. And they like their nasty sex, preferably with an undercover brother or sister. Take it how it resonates. They share the same beliefs. They manifested this person into their life. This same person is spying on you. They're jealous. 
You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, there's this jealous side chick here too. Because this King of Pentacles is their sugar daddy. That's who keeps them at the hotel. Or they go to screw at a hotel. But it ultimately ended in an STD, which became a dead end. So they stopped screwing this side chick and kept screwing the side dude. Tell me about the tower for my Divine Feminines. This is your twin flame that's having a tower moment. God done stepped in and shook his shit up or her shit up. Take it how it resonates. Tell me about the tower. So there was a drastic change in somebody's mental thoughts. Somebody that's been spying on you. Somebody here that is hiding that there are undercover brothers, sisters, spirit. Shut that shit down. It's coming out. Spirit says, you're not going to keep lying about this shit. And you're not going to keep hiding this shit. You could be dealing with an Aries Taurus. Or this is who they're dealing with. But there's also a family member here. That's a third party to a water sign. That's trying to heal and balance and restore themselves. To come back towards some of you. Tell me about the Six of Swords. They're leaving a soulmate. What else are they leaving this soulmate behind? This soulmate is possibly an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that is a narcissist that they're leaving behind. They're being divinely guided to move from a bad situation to calm of water. So this is your twin flame, or this is what you ladies and gentlemen that are in divine feminine energy that are doing. You are leaving this person because why? It's a dead end, whether it's your twin flame that's leaving their person or it's you, because this is a dead end. This is a love of a lifetime, but there's lots of childhood wounding here. And there is an STD alert. Somebody here is crying. Three of swords, four of swords, because of all the lies, deception, and betrayal here. And you see, this woman don't look like she give a fuck. And I'm not saying that's y'all. Some of the some of y'all, that is y'all. But others of you, your divine counterpart is crying over a bitch that did this to him. What he gave out to you, he's getting back tenfold. Tell me about these three of swords. I told you he manifested this shit right into his own damn life. Or hers. Take it how it resonates. Somebody found all of this shit out of what they were going what somebody had going on in their motherfucking phone. What else is here, Holy Spirit, on this Three of Swords? The boss, divine masculine, airy source energy. Somebody that's married or lives with someone that's a business owner and likes to have their nasty sex because they share the same beliefs with the gold digger. There was a side dude that was involved in a marriage and there was a pregnancy scare. So not only did your divine masculine have a side person, the karmic did too. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is who they were having all this passionate lovemaking on. You see that it is on the heartbreak and it is with an air sign. This is who is lighting your divine counterpart's ass up. So tell me about the Two of Cups for my Divine Feminine Collective. Why is the Two of Cups here? Somebody is leaving and coming towards a soulmate. They want to spin the block. Some of y'all, somebody here's name could be Harriet. They're rushing in. Someone's name could be Wallace. There could be some names, last names, Tubman, Simpson. Tell me more. About why they're leaving and coming back towards the soulmate. Someone that juggles you. Florence is a name. They want to give you justice. Your name could be Ida. Your name could be Dorothea. What else is here on the King of Pentacles in the reverse? Four of Pentacles. They held back. Because they could have been holding on to a situation for money. Somebody's name could be Isabella. Somebody's name could be Katie. Somebody here is being stubborn. They're resisting. So Spirit had to usher that tower in to help that ass out. Yeah, the Keeper of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. I can't make it up. Somebody's name is Sarah. 
And they are hot. They might be. Let's see. I have Elsa. Yeah, they want to talk to you about a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. They want a victory with you. But are they ready for it, Collective? Tell me about the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Page of Wands. Somebody here has hidden emotions about this whole situation. What do they have hidden emotions about? An ending, a death and a rebirth, a transformation. Could be an ending with a Sagittarius. What else is here, Holy Spirit, on these hidden emotions? Somebody here is hiding that they're a monster too. Shelly Keats is here for Frankenstein, the author of Frankenstein. Mary Shelley. Tell me about these hidden emotions, Holy Spirit, that the Divine Masculine is hiding from the Divine Feminine. You have Nine of Cups. They see you as wish fulfillment. Or this person is hiding that they're selfish. Mm -hmm. Somebody here could drink a lot, could be having a lot of sex in a relationship with an Aquarius that they could be married to. I want y'all to keep this in mind, but this person has been hurt by somebody they love. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the pregnancy. Yep, they're stuck. They're delayed because there is a child here. Page of Pentacles. The truth is coming out. And somebody here is in regrets. They have regrets. Somebody's name could be Heloise. Somebody's name could be Celia. This is why it's taking them so long to come towards you. They could also be broke. No money. Somebody's name could be Edmonia. We have Jane and Ellen. Somebody here feels ban abandoned and left out in the cold by their lover. Could be a Gemini. Or somebody that has multiple air in their chart. Doesn't have to be. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Holy Spirit. And the sex addiction. Why is this here for my Divine Feminines? Seven of Wands. This person blocked you because they had a sex addiction. This person was very guarded, very defensive about coming into union. Somebody here, there was a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that blocked your union. Because this person, they they blocked you and they ended it. I'm sorry. There's the four of wands. So they could have blocked and ended this um, union with you. Now they want a new beginning with you. Somebody here is hiding their fears and insecurities about how they sabotaged and betrayed their empress. That would be you. They see you getting a lot of attention and the ace of pentacles. I can't keep making this up. I'm using different decks tonight for you guys just to prove to you what I've been telling you the whole entire time. Your narcissist does not want a real relationship. Your narcissist wants your energy and your finances. They're in for your money. And I've told y'all a year ago, damn near two years ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, and here we are again with the same reading. But I'm just putting it to you in your format, layman's format, divine feminine, so you'll understand who this is really about. Okay? Tell me about the seven of wands. The sugar daddy and the side chick. Tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Ten of Wands. It's a whole burden. Somebody's name could be em Emily. Yeah, somebody they ghosted you for. They're receiving burdens for it. Ooh. And they're realizing they're dealing with a fucking narcissist. Narcissist right over here. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's name. Somebody got a foreign name here. Somebody here. There is no healing here. Somebody's name could be Anne. And somebody's name could be Hat Catherine. There's no healing this marriage. The Hierophant is in the reverse. This marriage cannot be healed between these lovers. Because there's too many people here. Lovers and three of cups in the ten of cups situation. That ain't going to work. Tell me about the, ten, uh, the tower and the undercover brother. Oh, yeah. Somebody here was divinely guided to leave. Somebody could have found this out on a trip. And that shocked the shit out of him. Somebody's name could be Marsha. Yeah. 
that got illuminated to him. So there could be a Leo that discovered it or knows about it. And somebody's relationship is in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. This is what spirit is tearing down. All because this person is conflicted. They've been arguing with a Queen of Cups. Or they've been... Um, <clears throat> They've been internally conflicted about a queen of wands, somebody that they love, about giving them a new beginning, the ace of cups, the ace of wands. But they have no finances to come towards with you. And that's why this person is stuck. Because they know it's a strong possibility that you already know by being a high priest, high priestess, that this person is being outed, that they're bisexual. Tell me about, what is this? The six of swords... And why all of this is here on the Six of Swords, Holy Spirit. Somebody's name could be Josephine. They are dealing with a whore of a Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the reverse. Karmic bitch. Male or female. Yeah. Somebody has been lying too. About a child. I cannot make this shit up. Ooh, wee. And this is why they're walking away. They're walking away. Somebody here could have also went to jail behind this shit. Three of swords because of the heartbreak and all the fears and insecurities. Somebody's name could be Joanna, Dorothea, Nellie, Georgiana, Julian, Joanna, Hattie, Zora. And this is why it took them so long to come towards you. Because they were in an imbalanced situation with somebody that thought they loved. Somebody's name could be Ada. Somebody's name could be Eleonora. But this person, this is what's been slowing down the progress. This karmic partner. So God had to finally step in since your person wouldn't leave them. Because we know the karmic is not going to leave them. So spirit had to come in and bust this shit down. Spirit got tired of them. Not making a decision. Because see, when you don't make a decision, that's still a decision. So spirit is going to help you because you seem to be making the wrong decision. Tell me about the three of swords. So they could be arguing and fighting about a child that's not his. Three of swords. Three of pentacles. About an open marriage, an open relationship for some of y'all. Somebody here put a lot of work in to make this great. Somebody's name could be Phyllis. Some name, somebody's name could be Octavia. Yeah, three of pentacles, open marriage on a relationship. And there's an ending, the world. Somebody's name could be Amelia. Somebody's name could be Lucretia. Yeah. Four of wands. Two of swords. So they blocked and stayed stuck from coming towards union. Somebody here is now stuck waiting. Waiting for a lover to reach out to them. But this person has been nothing but inconsistent and unstable. Somebody's name could be Jane. And somebody here that they hurt. And rejected and ended it with is becoming famous. And it's a soulmate that they were reckless with. Y'all are very, if you're not on your way to being the, if you're not the nine of pentacles, pre-empress, pre-emperor, or empress energy, you guys are on your way to being that. Oh boy, 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 boy. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Somebody definitely could have eloped in this situation and you are to release your ex. So they could have went and eloped when they went on this trip, when they took this vacation with this karmic partner. Yeah, and this is why it's an unrequited love there's an unrequited love between them and their person, too, as well. Yeah, they're, they have a great deal of passion. And this is all sitting on, mind you guys, the hidden emotions. 
This situation is calling for y'all to have faith. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So your divine masculine has to clean his act up and come in and make the effort. Some of them are going to offer you a, an engagement, but you're still going to release this ex. Some of you. Or after they release their ex, they're going to offer you an engagement. Some, not, some of them may have offered this karmic a relationship and they took it back. Somebody here is also still in separation or will be in separation from someone. Yeah, somebody that they have romantic feelings for. That's what they were also hiding from you. I know, I'll say this. I asked my divine con counterpart, did he love the karmic? He didn't answer. That gave me my answer right there. See, when you don't answer somebody, that's still an answer. Remember that collective. And I know a lot of y'all are mature enough to know this. So your divine masculine was not being honest with you, male or female. They were still hiding how they truly felt about this karmic. They expected this karmic to be the last person and the only person that they were going to need after they walked away from you. They never thought for one moment in their life when they chose this karmic partner over you that they would ever have to come back and face you. That's the reason why it's so difficult because there's humiliation, there's shame, there's embarrassment. They feel like whole freaking idiots for how they treated you. Now they don't have remorse. They only have regrets that this did not work in their favor. So they look, their pride and ego is keeping them stuck from coming back towards you. Because they don't want to have to take accountability and responsibility. But every day that they have done this shit to you, they are facing karma for it. And they are everything that they did where they disobeyed God, they're going to get their asses torn out the frame. Because this is greater than us at this point. This is them disobeying the father himself. So... They finna pay for everything. Y'all ain't got to even worry about it. Spirit already got that locked up, sewn up, and it ain't going nowhere. It's like that. Hold on, y'all. Let me give y'all some good love messages, hopefully, that y'all can take from this reading. But I also want to know where your person's mind is at. Because they don't like to tell the truth. They really don't. And I want truth for my collective. I don't ever want y'all to have to question or doubt. But you have your own intuition. Yeah, see, the truth is coming out. They've gained truth and clarity and enlightenment. Some of y'all got some new opportunities coming in. Things of that nature. So, let's see what's going on here. Because like I said, I haven't done a reading for my Divine Femmes in a minute so i want to give y'all some energy divine fems y'all people have done uh duplicitous shit for money they're very dishonest very disloyal they let that karmic bark their ass up a tree they can't get down from now so they kind of stuck like chuck in a situation all behind for the sake of love you know how they have that show i did it for my man well your dumb ass damn divine masculine did it for this damn karmic. <coughs> Thinking, excuse me, y'all. Thinking that, you know, that everything that they did for this karmic was going to be the end all be all. And, you know, they got to walk off into the sunset with the love of their life only to find out that this ain't the love of their life. This person is a user, a liar, a deceiver, and a Decepticon. And they don't care. And now the sad part about it is now that they realize who they really, truly love, y'all don't care either, some of you. So, what's here, Holy Spirit, for my divine femmes? Spirit is saying there is a warning. Wait, the timing is not right. Don't dismiss the red flag. Somebody still has to release somebody. So they could be coming in towards you, collective, and they have yet to release this person that put them in an unrequited love situation, too. This person wants to come in and play, laugh, goof off, and joke with you, 
They want you to feel like you can trust that it's safe to be in this situation with them. But we finna see. Is it safe for them to trust Holy Spirit? Show me the energy for my divine feminines. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. I just told y'all that. My guides are very, very powerful. They are on point. Still, time apart is needed. Some of y'all still got some work of y'all's to do too. The timing isn't quite right is what Spirit is saying. But you are safely and divinely guided and protected. Know that, collective. What else is here? Boundaries. Keep your boundaries up and keep them firm. Yeah, this person is not practicing self-love, self-care, divine feminine. Some of y'all aren't either. And it's time for you to get yourself balanced. Get your mind right. One person here was giving more than the other. You could be a Sagittarius. But this person, or they could be a Sagittarius. Somebody here is secretly longing for you. They're yearning for you. But they have not done the work. And until they do the work, it would be highly advisable not for you to take this person back. This person is not ready to be in a loving relationship. You know what it felt like the first time. You know what it'll be this time. It'll be worse if you take them back. Some of you have already done this and you've come to find out that your person has not changed. You feel like they will never change. But the reason why they did not change is because you gave in before the spirit had done the work. You jumped divine timing. You got impatient and you got reckless. Holy Spirit, show me some, some messages from the hidden truth from my divine feminines. I hide behind material things. They no longer have that. Spirit alleviated them from that. That's what this damn tower moment was about. That's why your king of pentacles is in the reverse. They hide behind material things. Now they know they wish they had it treated you better. And they're starting to understand this connection. Some of them are researching information about divine connections. Divine masculines, divine feminines, twin flames. And what soul connections are about. What else? I wish I had, I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's some of you, some of you, your divine counterpart has some good news that they want to share with you, but their life is not together as it seems. They make it seem like they're doing great, but it ain't as great as they feel like it. Um, I feel you leaving me behind. So this might be the other reason because in the end, in the finality, some of you, the divine masculine is going to lose all the way around male or female. They're going to lose the karmics. And you, because some of you are going to forgive your divine counterpart, but you're not going to take them back. Others of you, you're going to wait for your divine counterpart to get themselves together and you may take them back, depending on how long it takes for them to come together. But you have to understand these are lifetimes and years upon years of patterns that were toxic and it does not take one day for it to be undone it takes time for this to be undone this person feels that you and them both were too young some of y'all could be young others than that you could be immature in your emotions we both know that i am not the one for you some of y'all this is what your divine counterpart is telling you because some of them are going to choose to stay whether they stay with that karmic or they get a new karmic, they're going to choose this nasty ass lifestyle over you because you know what? They like it like that. Those addictions have taken them completely over. <coughs> Some of you... This was just a fling. It's a one-sided relationship. This was a karmic masculine for some of y'all divine collective. Divine feminines. Male or female. This was just a fling. For others of you, this was a fling that they were dealing with with all these people. There is so much that they want to talk to you about. But this person stays stuck. Because of the way they treated you. And the shit that they're going through. Right now, they got a lot of fish to fry. The spirit is cooking their asses in the process. That tower is hitting different this time. Your person has repeated this lesson over and over and over and over and over. They've repeated it so many times. Spirit says enough is enough. 
Give me some energy from my divine feminines, from the divine masculine. You make me want to be a better person, excuse me. But you're going to have to do the work, sweetie, in order for that to be true. Secrets, lies, and deceptions. They are hiding a lot of shit that they have to come forward and be open with you and tell you every damn bit of it. Spirit says you will not pass. You will not go. You will not collect 200,000, 200 million for some of you. I can see myself with you for the long term because some of you, if you get out of this um, situation where y'all's emotions are and start leveling up, that's the gifts that God got for y'all. Please forgive me. So your person wants your forgiveness. Don't forgive them for him or her. Forgive them for yourself so you can level up and move on collective. This person feels you. For others of you, they don't because it came out in the reverse. They are sorry for what they did to you, but not sorry enough to come and apologize and give you an adult apology. This person loves you, but all of these messages are from their higher self. I will find my way back to you one day. Please be patient with me. But as far as spirit is concerned, they ran out of time. I wish I could take it all back. So this person wished they could take back what they've done to you. They gave in to temptation. This person is weak-minded and weak-willed. This person is a coward. And they're a bullshitter too. Can we start over for some of you? You make me want to be a better person. This person doesn't want to grow up for some of y'all. Definitely. They check on you from a distance. They always spy on you. And they lie on you too. They told a lot of lies on you, Collective. They lied about... All of the shit. Some of them are even saying that you all gave them an STD. Everything that's gone wrong, you're the problem, collective divine feminines. I feel terrible for hurting you. Then prove it. I want things to work out. You're always on their mind. And again, they are so sorry for the way they treated you, for all the things and all the wrong and all the harm that they've caused you. A lot of them have caused y'all to be jobless, homeless. Some of you have the divine counterparts, children. Some of y'all were meant to have children with your divine masculine, male or female. And this is all what they've done. And what they've done to you is coming back around to them. And they are feeling it like they have never felt anything else in their life. Spirit is really giving it to them. Your ancestors are not going to sit on the sidelines and allow this to play out. Messages from my divine feminine Holy Spirit. Spirit says it's time for you to look inside of yourself again, yet again. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. What's behind it? The sacred, the sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Your divine masculine has to look within his or herself as well. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my divine feminines. Balance is required, collective. And only time will tell about this sexual union that you're supposed to be in with your divine counterpart. Forgiveness is here, too. And transformation is what I'm also seeing. What's at the bottom of the deck now? Again, look inside of yourself in the sexual union is on top. Let's see what's here. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So a lot of y'all have new love coming in. I'm going to set that to the side. 
Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So a lot of y'all are still holding on to resentment. There's a friendship here that's going to lead to love for a lot of you. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So a lot of you now have to learn how to have a friendship with inside of the relationship. If this is not you, then this is what your divine masculine has to Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So your divine counterpart chooses to stay stuck. Spirit is already helping that situation. What is your reason why you're staying stuck? The past is now behind you. Release it and, rem and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you now. Follow it with Faith Collective. Imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this is what the leveling up is about, Collective. So let's see some of the zodiac signs of the people that are coming in for y'all. At the bottom of the deck, I see uh, Gemini. Cutie fly. Somebody here is also a Pokemon fan. My grandkids give that to me. I'm not a Pokemon fan. But somebody here is. Somebody here could also have Gemini in uh, Venus. Show me some of the zodiac signs of the new love that's coming in from my Divine Feminine Collective Holy Spirit, male and female. Cancer. Somebody may have cancer in Venus. We have Saturn. So there could be a Cancer here that's learning a major karmic lesson about finances, about getting themselves grounded, about leveling up. Somebody here could have dealt with someone that is 26 years of age. Somebody here because of their lust. And they could have also got this person pregnant. Somebody's going to try to feed y'all some illusions. Be very mindful. Justice is being served. We have water here, so there's a lot of emotions about a lesson. Somebody here could be fighting in the justice system. Somebody could be a lawyer or somebody here could have some conflicts about a divorce or their karma. They could be conflicted about the karma, the scales being balanced, taking accountability and responsibility for all the uh, drama and conflict that they cause. Somebody here has to go through a death and a rebirth. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Sagittarius. Somebody here, something got illuminated to somebody about another lover. And it could have been an Aquarius that they are married to. And there's a Taurus. And this is your Jupiter energy. This is your divine masculine, male or female, at war with going through a death and a rebirth and fighting with spirit. Mm -hmm. Somebody going to have to go within and gain a lot of is inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. Family, this has been the reading for my Divine Feminines. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I've done one. Um, I enjoy doing it for you guys. Let me see what's here in these names. I see Joaquin here as well. Holy Spirit, give me some names for my Divine... Ooh, ooh wee For my Divine Feminines. I'll leave these. They came, they sat upwards. I see Jerry. I see Perry. I see Maria. Ooh, I see Sky Marshals here too. Mm -mm. Ooh, I see bestiality here, too. Oh, that's not good. I see destiny. I see Eric. There's more than one person under destiny. I see candy. Candy, destiny, Eric, Erica, Eric. I see Stacy. I see Johan. I see Rico. I see Tyrone, I see Tamara, 
she didn't come out. I see somebody is strung out on ISO drugs as well. I see Geraldine. She's been showing up a lot. Joaquin came out finally. I see a Suki. So someone's name is Suki. I see an Anthony here. I see a Charity here. Let's get Suki out of the way. I see a Star. I see Eliza. I see Trina. I see Emmanuel. I see Trinity. And I see Pierre. <sighs> Let's see. And Tyler is up at the top. I see a Mary, Jonathan, Maurice, Jennifer, Shawnee, Tanisha, Thomasina. And those were some of the other names that came through. Collective, this has been your reading. If anything here resonates for you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That way you'll receive all the latest content that I upload and deliver to this channel. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, feel free to do so. You can reach me at Twin Flames with a Z, 144 at gmail.com. There I will upload my price list. You pick a price that sets your time. You pick a time that sets your price. And until the next reading, family, I wish you nothing but health, wealth, peace, prosperity, joy, love, abundance, prosperity in every aspect of your life. Take care.